my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we Mantine surfed our way over to Akala Island. We also battled Pokemon trainer Dexio, a trainer from a far off land, and defeated him. Today we're going to go look for Lily, who told us that she wanted us to meet up with her. This place is kind of fancy, Lily. This is nice. Oh, Rodri. I'm sorry, I saw some people who look like those Team Skull Thugs, and I got scared. I was trying to avoid them, and then I think I ended up missing my meeting. Oh, but don't worry, it's fine. This is actually where I wanted to be. Will you be going for another one of your trials, Rodri? From what I read, I think that the nearest trial site must be the one up Route 4. The one up Route 4 is the trial we're going to be going for. So let's get out of here since Lily missed her appointment. It looks like there is no need for us to be there. We are ready to make our way to a brand new route. So with that, guys, we have officially made it to Route 4. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your tips and your comments that you left me on the previous video. Make sure you go ahead and click the like button on this video. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Let's go ahead and get ready for our first battle. It's gonna be a great day for our Pokemon to be exploring a brand new route. We could definitely use the XP, so let's see what we got over here. We got ourselves a Gray Ball. Let's see what else we can find today. I feel like we're gonna be finding something really good. Something better than I expect. A tiny mushroom. That isn't what I was expecting at all. So let's make our way up this hill, and it looks like we're gonna have more battles, more trainers coming up. I hope you guys are pumped. I know I am to see how our Pokemon are going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and talk to her. And she does not look like she is a trainer. She's just telling us about secret little spots. And that's something that we have to keep an eye out for as well. If you guys know, sometimes there are little Pokeballs hidden away. And you got to make sure you find them to get, you know, the whole package from the route. To make sure you get every little bit of goodies from it. To make sure you make the most of it. Let's look over here. We got ourselves another Pokeball and another trainer, it looks like, too. So let's take this guy on. The Pokemon that we're going up against are pretty close to our level, so this is going to be some pretty good XP. Let's go ahead and take on the next trainer too. Route 4 has been good to us so far. So let's see what else we can find here. I'm gonna make sure that we keep our Pokemon alive too. Everybody needs to be getting XP here. Everybody needs to be leveling up and keeping up in levels as well. Some trainer tips for us. I don't think we need those trainer tips. You know what? What are trainer tips? We don't need any trainer tips around here from a sign. Why is a sign over here giving us tips about things to do? What does that sign know about being a Pokemon trainer? Trainer tips. What do we got over here? We got ourselves an energy root. That's okay. Well, we'll take a little item like that.
We've battled so many trainers here. I wonder how many more we got left. I do see the little flag coming up. But we bumped into a random Pokemon. And that Pokemon's gonna be a Crab Brawler. I've had the chance to use a Crab Brawler before in my playthrough of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And it was a lot of fun, I have to tell you guys. It's a very strong Pokemon. But it does take a little while to reach its full potential. So I don't recommend it if you're trying to get Pokemon evolved a little bit early on. It takes a lot longer to get that Pokemon fully evolved. We have made it to Paniola Town. Hey, Rodri, glad I ran into you. So we can see who's stronger now. I got a Z Power Ring for my Gramps too after making it through his grand trial. Having a battle in a place like Paniola Town feels like we're in a real old fashioned Western showdown or something, right? This is so cool. Though for real honorable cowboys, we've got to make sure our teams are healthy first. All right, team. Dark Tricks and Pikachu and everybody, you ought to all be bursting with energy after eating a pile of my mom's special pancakes. So let's show this newbie what Alola's got. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer How. So let's go ahead and get ready to battle our rival once again. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer How. Our Pokemon have just been healed as well. How's gonna open up with a Dark Tricks, and we're gonna go ahead and open up with Echo. So let's see what we can do here today against our boy How. Dark Tricks is level 16. So we are pretty close in levels. Hades is a little bit higher level than Dartrix. So I think we'll be able to handle it. The Dartrix is going to be going for its Z move. It surrounded itself with Z power. It's going for the breakneck blitz. And the breakneck blitz has took down Echo. So with that, Hal has used his Z move already from the beginning of this battle. Hal is not holding back. He's got his four Pokemon ready to go, and they are all trying to win. So let's go ahead and switch out then. We'll bring out Hades, and let's see what Hades can do here against this Dartrix. We should have the upper edge here. It should be pretty easy to take this Pokemon down. One more hit should just about do it. If we can just stick to it, we need to keep on going with our plan. And there you go. Fire Fang took down the Dartrix. We are good. So let's go ahead and see what other Pokemon How has coming out. We've seen some of them before. A little Pikachu. So we have seen the Pikachu. We also do know that How got himself a Noibat as well. So we do have some similarities in our team. Here we go. Pikachu level 15. Let's go ahead and take out this Pikachu. I do have the Quick Claw on Hades. But Pikachu's going for the quick attack himself. Big old crits would help us out. Pikachu is down. We didn't even need a crit there. And I will take that, ladies and gentlemen. A Noibat is coming out. And there it is. We can switch out. We do have spot with the rock type move. So we can start chucking some rocks over at any of those Pokemon if we wanted to. You know, we'll start chucking rocks here and there. You know, a rock for you, a rock for you. Whoever wants them, we'll throw them. And let's go ahead and go for that exactly and see if we can take down this Noibat. And there we go. Noibat is down as well. Now we're really starting to get it going. Lola grew to level 18. And Hal's going to be sending out an Eevee as his last Pokemon. That's pretty cool to see, I have to tell you. Seeing a little Eevee running around, I'm going to be very, very happy to see how Hal's team progresses. Because you know what? It's always cool to see how different trainers utilize their Eevees. I know I've personally had the chance to use Eevees on my team before. I've used Eevees quite a bit and a different evolution of the Eevee with that team. So it'll be cool to see what, how ends up evolving his Eevee into. Let's go for that Fire Fang. And it is not doing that much to tell you guys the truth there. So let's go ahead and see if we can switch things up a little bit. And maybe one of our other Pokemon will be able to do a little bit more damage here to the Eevee. How, where did you get yourself this Eevee, dude? If you want to let us know, that would be really, really cool. Because having some Eevees around, getting them into different evolutions, is one of my favorite things to do. And that was a solid hit. So let's go ahead and go for one more pound. And I think Lola's going to have this in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Eevee has gone down. And there we go. We're going to gain a bunch of XP for our team. Hades grew to 21. We defeated Pokemon Trainer How. Man, that was some kind of battle. Dartrix and everybody all look like they had a blast too. Right then, here, I'll share my bit of good luck with you, Rodri. 
We obtained a dire hit. You know how the totem Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura of power? Use a dire hit on Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit. That aura won't mean a thing. You might want to try using some of those Rotom powers through fighting a totem too. You know, Pokemon battles just like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you're only really losing if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola Ranch. See you later, Hal. Be seeing you soon. With that, guys, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon and get ready to continue. Now that we've healed up our Pokemon, let's go ahead and chase after Hal. We've officially made it to Paniola Ranch. That car bike was so hard to take down, but we managed to pull it off. And with that, guys, we have made it to Paniola Ranch. Oh, you gotta be a trial goal, right? Well, you got a good sized diamond. The caption's actually here right now, so come on. For stopping by the moon milk from Paniola Ranch is the best it's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things hmm taste can't even be described oh by the way since I was lucky enough to run to you here I'll do you a little favor so with that Stalin was registered to our ride pager see Stalin can sniff out items for you that are buried in dirt where you can't even see them when you're riding Stalin pressing B to use Stalin search is what it's all about get up there and try it all kinds of stuff lying around waiting for you to find it. Stalin will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to some item buried in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana's up there, so say hi to her for me if you see her. Sweet! So we are going to get to ride around on Stoutland. So now we got the Taurus Charge and we got ourselves the Stoutland Search. So let's search around a little bit indeed and try this out. What exactly are we searching for? You tell me. You tell me. I feel like we are picking up a little something here. What is it exactly? What kind of item are we finding? Why is this Miltank going up to us? Okay, Miltank, you do you. Let's get out of here then, guys, and see if we can find our way. I've gone ahead and healed up our Pokemon. Let's continue through Paniola Ranch then. And we just ran into a Pokemon. So let's see what this Pokemon is going to be. And it's going to be a Mareep. Now that's very, very cool. I'll take it. Our Pokemon in our Pokedex are getting more and more full. So the more data we get, the better. I'm going to go ahead and run from this Mareep though. We're going to be good right now, guys. We're just going to continue going and taking on whatever battles that they're going to be here. Echo just learned wing attack from that battle. That's a pretty good move. So we got to make sure to use it. We got ourselves a paralyzed heal. That's all right. We'll take some uh, different heals. 
some different items. Let's go ahead and put Lola up in front as well so we can try to give some of our other Pokemon a chance at stepping it up. And now let me look around and see where else we can go. It's been pretty good so far here. And I think we are very close to making it out as well. And there we have it, guys. I think we are just about through. Pokemon Nursery Lady? That is not who we are looking for. I do appreciate it, though. Let's go down here and see if we can find anything. The road is being blocked off right now by the Pseudo Wudo, as you guys can see. And we can't get through here until we defeat Lana, who you guys might have heard a little bit about. So let's go ahead and battle this guy over here. What's he doing under that truck? Have fun with whatever you're doing over here with the truck. We got ourselves an amulet coin. And that is very, very good. Get yourself a little bit of poker cash. You know, we all need a little bit of poker cash. I am content with the way we are battling. We've been doing very, very good. And it looks like we need to make our way to Brooklet Hill. So let's keep on moving through, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to Route 5. That's what I'm talking about. One of the trial guys is here to help you out. Feel like learning a mysterious move? Yeah, we are definitely feeling like learning a mysterious move here. So let's battle people. There we go. So in order to get this special move, we're going to have to defeat all the trainers here in Route 5. So let's take a look around because we're going to have to find them. We're going to have to beat them and defeat them. We got a super potion here. And I think before we do that, let's go say hi to Hal. <laughs> Man, I lost again. Are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously, I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Whoa, hey, Rodri. This guy is plenty scary. You're Rodri. Yeah, that's me. Hmm, not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladion. Me and my partner, Type Null, are training to get stronger. We have to get stronger. Though most of our time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer Gladion. Let's go ahead and take on Gladion, then. And it looks like he is working for Team Skull. So we are challenged by Team Skull Gladion. And let's go ahead and take this guy on. He's got three Pokemon. He's going to be opening things up with a Zubat. So let's go ahead and see what we can do against Gladion. He looks a little bit threatening. And we do have Lola with a little bit of damage. So there we go. Lola has been knocked out. And that's okay. We have three other Pokemon that are very, very strong. And that are ready to jump into the mix as well. So let's go ahead and throw Spot out here. We got the Rock Throw that we can go for on the Zubat. And it should do a bunch of damage here. If we can just hold out here on the Faint Attack. And of course, we are paralyzed. So I haven't been able to get a freaking move off. I'm going to use that Full Restore on Spot. To make sure that we cure ourselves and heal up, we got to make sure we're putting out some damage here. That faint attack is doing quite a bit too. So let's go for a spot. Let's throw that rock throw then. And let's show Gladion what we're made of here. 
That did a good bit. And it was a Zorua's illusion all along. So we've been battling a Zorua. Now we know. Now we know. Let's go for that howl. We could power up, but we got to see what this Zorua's going to go for. It's going to go for that faint attack. And that's going to take us down. That is too bad, but we are close to taking it down. And I'm going to switch out now. We do have Hades. That is going to be super effective on the Zerua. So let's go for it. We got double kick. We got some really good moves on Hades here. And that's why Hades is our starter for a reason. Zerua is down. So let's keep it going. We're doing pretty good against Gladion. The Zubat is now coming out. So this is the real Zubat. I see you, Gladion. I like your tricks. I like trainers that have different strategies that do things a little bit out of the norm. I feel like that is how you are supposed to Pokemon battle. Not like everyone else. You gotta have fun with it. You gotta use the Pokemon that you want to. The Pokemon that, you know, have been with you there from the beginning. That's what it's all about. So let's go for another Fire Fang. Very nice. We hit the Quick Claw. That's gonna take down the Zubat. And now it's going to come down to Gladion's last Pokemon, which some of you guys might know what this Pokemon is. And it's going to be Type Null coming out. So here we go. Let's take him Type Null, level 18. Great thing is we do have Double Kick, which is going to do a lot of damage to the Type Null. So let's go for it. The only downside to it is that our health is a little bit low right now. So we just got to hope that we can hold out. We got 2 HP right now. And we are holding out against a Type Null. Let's use a Super Potion. We have them for a reason. And we've done so many battles today. Our Pokemon have really been going through the test here. So let's see if we can hold out. And that should just about do it. Let's go for the Double Kick Hades. And let's take out Type Null. Let's show Gladion a little something about talking trash. You know, he's been talking a big game he's been saying he's ready to battle how he wants to get all strong but we want to get strong too gladion we're on our island challenge for a reason and there we have it type null has gone down we're gonna gain some xp hades grew to level 22 we defeated team skull gladion how annoying It's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. S strong opponents? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling, but this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You know my Grams? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Ah, uh, look at you, Gladion. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid will turn out spotless too, huh? No worries, we got enough backbone to cover for you. Just give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way for what? For a big fat waste of our time thanks to you? If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow crying. It's time we should be flying. Listen up, good Gladion. The boss does like you. That's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You are part of Team Skull? Not really. And you never will be. Got it? You better get it. Thanks, Rodri and Toracat too. You both gave it your all. Phew, looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm going to take on the trial of Brooklyn Hill next. Here, Rodri, take these with you. We're going to beat this island challenge. We got ourselves three revives. The classic three revives. Thank you. With that, guys, let's go ahead and continue on. I am definitely ready to make my way to a Pokemon Center. We're going to have one more battle before it. Are you serious right now?
Now let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. We've gone ahead and healed them up. So let's take a look around. As I told you guys, we still got to find some trainers to battle around here. So let's see if we can find all of them. Now, where could the next trainer be? Could it be over here somewhere? Could it be over here somewhere? They could be anywhere, really, if you think about it. So we're going to try our best to find them, because I'm trying to figure out what this move they keep talking about is. We got ourselves TM41 Torment. I'll take that. We'll take any TMs that we can. And there wasn't anybody there, surprisingly. So let's see if we can find another trainer. Where are all the trainers at? Have we defeated them all already? This couldn't be all the trainers, right? We couldn't have took all those guys down that fast. That was a great battle. I'm gonna keep running through here. Hey, are you a trainer? If we continue through here, we'll get to the Pokemon Center. I know about the Pokemon Center. I mean, we had to battle how many people before we got to use that Pokemon Center? It was pretty crazy. Let's talk to this guy. So you were able to beat everybody on Route 5 at least, huh? Now I'll give you a little trial of my own. Think you're ready to take on my little trial? I got a Z-Power Ring myself, as you can see. I'd be happy to. I had the latest batch of trial goes our feisty lot. This old trial guy's little trial's about to start. Here we go, guys. Roger versus the trial guide over here on Route 5. So let's go ahead and take on trial guide Bronson. He's got two Pokemon ready to go. We've defeated everybody on Route 5, and we are ready to battle. So there's a little bit of a mini trial, as he likes to call it. And I really, really like the fact that we are able to make something out of defeating all the trainers on a route. That is a very great addition, and I like to see more of that continue on in Pokemon games. I think giving you those little extra achievements are always so much fun. So let's hold out here. That confusion is going to take down Lola. And I was hoping Lola would be able to do a little bit more damage. Now I'm a little bit worried, because we are going up against a Slowpoke. We've had some difficulty going up against water Pokemon, and I hope that we can hold out here and improve on that. So let's go for the Lick, which is going to be super effective on this Slowpoke. Slowpoke is going for the Yawn. I'm going to do as much damage as I can before Hades gets put to sleep here. So let's go for one more, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes the Water Gun. We got to hold out. That did more than half of our HP. So as you guys can see, getting hit with Water Gun does a lot to us. We're going to be at a type disadvantage to Water Moves. And not only because of Hades, but because of Spot as well. Because Spot is a Rock type, if you guys remember. So we got to work around that now too. We got to try to figure this out. Let's go for the Bite and see how much the Bite's going to do. Echo doesn't do that much damage at all to the Slowpoke. We did get it to flinch, but we aren't doing that much damage at all. Let's go for the Absorb, and it did not do a whole lot either. So we are just going to have to tank out the Confusions and hope for the best here, ladies and gentlemen. Echo is down, and we are down to Hades and Spot, who can get hit with this Water Gun and immediately get KO'd because it does way too much. So we are going to have to find a Pokemon to add to our team that is going to be able to counter those water type moves. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what Pokemon you'd like to see added to our team next. Because I think it's going to be very, very cool to keep them coming. Especially with all the trials that are coming up. And all the battles that you guys can see are going to need 
a bigger variety of Pokemon typing. So let's go ahead and heal up. Let's bring Lola back. And now we just gotta hope Hades can hold out a little bit longer. Hades, you did what you could. Can't expect a whole lot when you're getting knocked out with super effectiveness. So now that Lola is out here, Lola is a normal type. So Lola should be the one to be able to hold out against this Slowpoke. I'm gonna go for that Breakneck Blitz, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hope for some big damage here. So let's get pumped. Let's get powered up. And Lola, we are putting a lot of trust in you with the Z power. Let's go for that Breakneck Blitz. The Breakneck Blitz did not quite take down the Slowpoke, but it came very, very close to doing it. So we're going to trust in Lola here. Let's go for that Pound. Oh my goodness. This Pokemon, we are at 1 HP. And the Slowpoke is one hit away too. My goodness. What is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to go for that Super Potion. And this has turned out to be quite a tough battle indeed. That water gun is just destroying our team right now. Lola can't do much either. At least we're up. Let's go ahead and go for a revive. We might be able to win this if we can bring a Pokemon back. So yeah, we're going to go for that. And let's give it to Hades. The good thing is Hades is pretty fast. So we should be able to strike first and to do some good damage. Also, Lola tanked that out a little bit better than I thought. So now, I'm going to make sure that we're coming into this full HP, ready to win this battle. I got the fresh water going. And thank you, Lola, for that. You gave us a chance. You gave us the opportunity to do something here in this battle against a level 24 Slowpoke. So we are out-leveled here by quite a bit. And we're at a type disadvantage. We're going to go for it, though. And with that, guy, Slowpoke has fainted. So that is what I'm talking about. Hades grew to level 23. And next is going to be a Mr. Mime. So let's go put some damage on this Mr. Mime then. I'm going to go for the Fire Fang. Mr. Mime is going for the Psy Wave. We should be good to tank it out. And we should be putting some good damage on this Mr. Mime. We got it close to half. I'm just going to keep on going for it then, guys. We're just going to keep pushing. And it looks like... A Z-move is going to be coming out. It boosted its defense using its Z-move. It used Z-Reflect. Very cool because we don't get to see defensive Z-moves like that very often. But I'm going to keep on going for that Fire Fang. And now that the Z-move is out, our Fire Fang does not do as much to it. So it's got me a little bit worried here. It's going to go for that Double Slap. All right, all right. How many times is this Double Slap going to hit? I'm going to go for that lick, guys. And at least we are putting some damage on it. But is it going to be enough to take it down? Are we going to be able to take down this Pokemon? I know that we have to have Hades out here. So Hades is the one that's going to have to do it. But those slaps have been hurting a good bit. This Mr. Mime is not messing around with the double slaps. These are not double slaps at all. These are way above and beyond now. We're getting tripled and four times slapped here. Let's go for that Fire Fang then. Come on, big moves. I feel like we are like one Fire Fang away, ladies and gentlemen. This battle is so close to finishing. We have 15 HP, which could mean that Mr. Mime might be able to slap us down. I'm going to go for the Fire Fang, though. We are just going to do it. Mr. Mime missed the double slap. And with that, we landed our Fire Fang, and we have done it. It might have took us out there. We gained some XP, and we defeated the Trial Guide. That was a heck of a battle there. That's the end of my little trial. Whew, you got some solid skills, kid. Yeah, I got to congratulate you on this win. Here's a reward for clearing my little trial. We obtained TM96 Nature Power. There we go. See you young kids giving all your law. You can shine bright like the sun. Thank you, Trial Guide. You are the man. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated all the trainers here in Route 5. And we can finally take a little rest here at the Pokemon Center. So next time, we'll be continuing from here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Be sure to click that like button if you're new to the channel.
click the subscribe button and join the purple banditos today thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye